No, it's not paused, okay? I was just really smiling for that long, okay? Just gonna be honest. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. And in this video, I did a drop fade, had a little pump on the top, dope cut. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. But other than that, man, I'm gonna start this video. I usually say something funny, but I'm not feeling it. Okay, I'm not feeling it. Okay, I have the right to not feel it. Okay, just like when clients come in the shop. I have the right to have an off day. Huh? Does all my cuts have to be A1? Huh? Does every cut have to be A1? Huh? All of them? Huh? YouTube to start off this cut I'm gonna do the curve part first using my Andy Swimline Pro Li's the reason why I'm doing it first is because I want to set myself up for greatness I, I kind of want to get a visual on where the line is first instead of going in with the fade and kind of like losing it so once you put this line in once you line it up first then that that way it sets you up you know, to do your, your, your blends and keep that line dark. All right, next you want to create your bald guideline and I'm using my Andy Slimline Pro Allies to do so. I'm basically bringing the fade up and I'm dropping it down. Hence, the drop fade. All right, you bring it up then you drop it back down. Right now, I'm balding out the rest of the hair using my wall magic clips. Using my Andy shavers, I'm gonna create another transition is basically another bald transition this is the razor bald all right this makes your your blend even that much more uh, crisp now with the lever open you're going up a full inch making sure you follow that, that ball guideline all the way around. Now with the one guard open, going up another inch, you're doing the same exact thing. You're making sure that guideline is neat all the way around, following the same shape in which you put in that lever open. Now 
Now with the two guard open, I'm running it straight up, okay? I'm kind of knocking off all that bulk at the top because I'm gonna come behind it with clipper over comb. So I'm not really worried about setting the guideline. I'm just kind of boxing it out, kind of visualizing his head as a high top and going straight up. With the one guard open, I'm just kind of cleaning up that area between the, the two guard and the one guard. I'm using that flick out motion and kind of blending that, 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 that line in. With the one guard closed, I'm basically softening up the middle line. And uh, keep in mind that this is not gonna take the line out. This is only setting it up to where you could take it out with the next step. Using the zero guard close, it's time to use that flick out motion and blend out that middle line. With the lever closed, you wanna flick out that bottom line, all right? Keep in mind that my clippers are zero gapped, all right? If you bought some of these clippers straight out of the box, they're not gonna be zero gapped, so you have to manually uh, zero gap all your clippers. Um, the way I zero gap these clippers is I put the, the Andes a metal um, guard. I took off that ceramic white blade and I put it on these fast feeds, so. Actually, these are speed liners. Speed liners, fast speed, same thing. But that's how I zero gap these clippers. As you guys see in this area right here, it's it's not it's still a line. Okay, I, I noticed I noticed that going in, so. I'm gonna give you guys a, a, a good trick to really just erase that bottom line. All right, to get rid of that bottom line, you guys wanna use your Andy shavers and only go downwards, okay? Go straight down, don't bring it up. All right, go all the way down. Go to the, to the scalp, but only bring it down. Do not, I repeat, do not flick it up because if you go up, you're gonna create another guideline. So just make sure you lightly just tap it down. Right now, using my clipper over comb technique, I'm basically um, knocking off the hairs that's sticking out. Again, you guys kinda, you gotta visualize this as being a high top. That's the best way I can explain it and uh, basically shape it up as if this was a high top.
Right now, I'm just combing up the hair and I'm putting in my dye and duck clips just to prepare for the lining process. My client wants about a half inch off the top, so right now I'm saturating the hair with water, preparing it so it could be, you know, soaked and I could, you know, basically when the hair is wet, it stretches to its maximum potential. So that's why you see me uh, saturating the hair with water. But other than that, he wants a, a half inch off the top. It's not a deep cut, it's not nothing too, you know, technical. On, on this shear work, it's just cutting the inch off, making sure everything is even. I'm, do, I'm gonna be doing my guy lines, doing some cross checking, and you know, my client wants his hair long still. He doesn't want too much off the top, so this is this this cut, this shear work doesn't have to be technical. I got my blow dryer and my styling brush and I'm basically combing the hair in the direction that I want it to go in. For those that don't know how to use a styling brush, I, um, all you have to do is grab the hair. You're kind of grabbing the hair with the, the comb and wrapping it around to where, you know, you're basically curling it. So it's kind of, you know, trial and error. You guys got to, you know, practice 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 at this I wasn't always good with using this style comb so it, it, it all comes with practice you guys
This is how my client came in. He needed a haircut. But can I get a drum roll, please? YouTube! I said this is the cut. Yes. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.